Did you know that you can integrate your Google Calendar with JotForm's workflow process? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize JotFlow's workflow process, you can now integrate with Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and create a really simple form. Top left-hand corner, we're gonna create a form from scratch on the classic form. And I'm just gonna pull in a few different details. Let's do full name, email, and then let's do an appointment type. And this is going to help the integration pull in accurate time information for us. And let's go ahead and change our form title to schedule a meeting. Now, if we do our settings over on the left-hand side, we have workflows right here. So let's go ahead and create a workflow. So we can see that it gave us that starting point of our schedule a meeting form. Now we need to start dragging and dropping elements. Now, if you would prefer to utilize a template, you can always do that. This is basically starting from scratch. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and pull in an approval option right here. So if I click on the settings, we can see that we have either approve or deny. We also have very specific approvers. If we want, we can add in an assistant here or if in the form they're going to put maybe a manager's email, we can pull from the form fields as well. Now we also have some completion roles, so we can require a response from the majority, all one person or a certain number of responses. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and put it as one person and we can also edit that notification email as well. So now we can go ahead and choose our approval options and our denial options. So if they are denied, I'm going to go ahead and send them an email. We'll put this right here and we'll drag this down here. We're gonna select the outcome of deny. And if they are approved, we're gonna go ahead and run that Google Calendar integration. So let's do create an event with Google Meet. We'll pull that in right over here. Now we can also come up here and drag this down for our approval. Now let's go ahead and complete these settings. It's going to ask us to integrate with a calendar. We're going to choose which one. Let's add that action. And from here, we can choose that calendar. Now the customized meeting title, as of right now, it's just pulling the form title, which is schedule a meeting. And that doesn't give me very much information. So we can pull from our form fields and we can pull the name. And if there's any other information that you're asking in their form, you can add anything here from those form fields. And for this example, we can go ahead and put the form title. So it would be like John Smith is scheduling a meeting. So we can add required attendees as well. We're going to put their email. And then we're also going to pull the start time from the appointment field within our form. And we can choose a 30 minute time slot. Now, if we want, we can add form fields to the event description. Again, we can pull anything that they're adding. So if in your form you ask them, what would you like to chat about? Why are you scheduling this meeting? You can pull in that information right here. So that makes it really easy for you as the person who is scheduling the call to know what they want to talk about. But we can go ahead and save. And then from here, we can go ahead and end this right down here. And pull these down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and give this a test. We'll publish and we will open in a new tab to John Smith. And then let's choose a date in November. We'll do the 5th at 11. Let's go ahead and submit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to JotForm. Right now we're in the workflow builder. I'm gonna jump over into my inbox. Now, this is just because I'm already in JotForm. As the approver, that first step, I'm also going to receive an email, but we can jump into our inbox. And we can see I have one pending in progress. So we have John Smith. And yes, we're gonna go ahead and approve this. And we can see we have integrations running. So it went ahead and put that on my calendar. I can click here to see if let's go ahead and open up my calendar and we'll jump to next week. Right here we have John Smith. He scheduled a meeting and again, we can see information right in here that we added from that form. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm workflows, integrating with your Google Calendar, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.